Yo, yo, welcome back to the Lone Wolf channel. We out here trying something a little bit new. Start trying to, rather than have these clips, I'll probably try to do little reviews, talk over some of these clips and shit. This, been, this one's a little bit long, so I'll probably, it won't be that long. I'm just trying to work the kinks out, but you know, I'm going to throw it up there so I let motherfuckers see what we're doing so I can maybe get some feedback or whatever, whatever. But, you know, I thought I'd, it might be pretty uh, advantageous of myself to maybe do something with these videos. I got all these clips of these games we playing. But, fucking, this game is kicking some ass, bro. Like, Dark Dragon's Dogma 2, of course. Pretty good game. Not too bad. Depending, like, once again, you know how I do. Depending on the price. You can get this shit sub 30, maybe 20. Shit, you're kicking ass. Paying full price, and you better know what you're getting into. It's not really... Unless you like, if you like Dark Dragon Dogma 1, perfect. You'll love Dragon Dogma 2. I don't want to say love, but I feel like you'll be more inclined to like it. But if you didn't play the first one, like, it's not even worth your fucking time, honestly. I would say watch videos, watch shit, because it's, it's a, an acquired taste at the very end. But you know, I had to put this clip in here. That was one thing I was like, I really noticed is like, whenever you cook shit, the food looks so realistic. It's like, that shit look tasty. It looked like a tasty little chopped steak. <laughs> But yeah, like I said, I was there. I was just sh to shooting the shit, just testing the shit out. I just want to see what what it kind of sounds like, trying to do some QA on myself and shit. You know how we do. So you know, if I'm sitting there smoking a, smoking a cigarette and uh, talking over the video, look at that fucking food. That one doesn't look as good. I've seen better ones. I ho hopefully I got a clip later on that shows a better what uh, what uh, a better uh, shot of the meat or whatever. But that shit looks fucking delicious. Wow. <coughs> like I said, this, I'm just just test shit out, so I'm not really trying to. If you hear me cough and shit, that is what it is. But I just want to talk over some of this gameplay, try to give it, give some insights and shit. But yeah, like I said, the game's fun. It's fun if you like the first game, you'll enjoy the second game at the very least. But it's it's like I said, an acquired taste. It's not something that you just like. Maybe you get into it, but like me, I knew what the fuck I was getting into. I knew there's no fast travel. I knew I'm gonna fucking have to run around the whole goddamn map trying to find shit. Quest markers and shit are almost irrelevant. The class system is insane because you have, like trying to think, trying to get a good class to do fucking damage is not impossible, of course, but more more, more or harder than it should be. Like, it's gonna be this fucking hard to get one class. So you, I me, mean, I ended up to play like four classes, I think, maybe four or five classes. I end up playing as. And maxed out a couple of them. I didn't think I ended up the one I liked the most is it's a tie between the archer and um the thief. The thief's pretty good too. But like I said, like that's like if you like that kind of play gameplay style, you can fuck with it. They have other and that was the one thing that kind of fucked me up too, is like they have a lot of classes that I did not find. I'm like, oh I didn't find this shit till the end of the game, bro. Like, I'm not playing this shit again. They said they said I'm um, pretty sure there's supposed to be some DLC. Hopefully there was some Something announced at the, the video game wars last night or something. I don't know, but in any court, in any fucking event, we just sitting here watching gameplay, smoking cigarettes. I feel like this is the most fun part of the game is when I get to fight the big monsters. I shoot a dude in his eye and shit, or I jump on his back and stab him in his fucking face. Like that's cool. The rest of the game is like I don't know, man. It's like a it's like a Japanese Skyrim. Which, and then what really kills me about this game is it has no co-op. This is like the perfect co-op game to have four, four motherfuckers running up at, at this motherfucker and putting work on his ass. He's like, no, nah, it's just me. I'm the fucking the one, one control player. Everyone else has abilities. They're kind of using my guess. But, I don't know, I feel like this game, maybe Dragon's Dogma 3 will get fucking uh, multiplayer, but this game desperately needs multiplayer. But, but yeah, we put the work on that motherfucker. Let's see what's next. Let's see what's next. I got more. Okay, you know. And that was the one thing that kind of fucked me up too. Is I seen all these videos that showed the the, the the Sphinx. Never found that motherfucker. I played the shit out of the fucking game. And I was like, uh, do I want to look at a guide? Like, I should play the fucking game. <laughs> I've already looked at enough guys. I feel like that's one of the things that like doesn't get talked about a lot. How much am I gonna have to look at my phone? How much am I going to have to pull up IGN or fucking Reddit trying to figure out stuff? And it's like, dog, I don't I don't want to do that. I feel like the older I get, I'm like, I, I don't want to pull up my fucking phone because you made it cryptic. Fucking Elden Ring. 
even though I fuck, I fucking love some Elden Ring. Like some of that shit needs to go, bro. It's not gonna hurt to have a fucking quest mark. It's not gonna hurt to have a fucking quest log. It's not gonna hurt to me. Hey, man, do you want to know where this quest is? Well, just follow here. Sometimes that shit needs to be happening. But I digress. I digress. I got a lot of gameplay footage. I think I want to say this. This one's probably like 45 minutes of footage, and I'm like, I don't know if I can talk for 45 fucking minutes without fucking do it. Ah, do it. I'll sit here and fucking talk some shit for a little bit. Hopefully, just to check the audio, see if I need to do some something with the audio. Because right now, I'm just talking through my fucking PlayStation controller, sitting there fucking around. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not really doing not not trying. Just want to see what it what it come. What's the final product? So what what can I change? What can I do? How can I do? So I see all these motherfuckers reviewing games, and I feel like they don't review the game. They either review their own some politics shit, or it's like, oh, there's there's trans people in the game, and there's gay people in the game. That makes me two out of ten. Like nigga, how is the game? Is it good? Is it bad? Was it fun? None of these things come across. Motherfuckers, or they, they want to over hate on a game. Like oh my god, and it's like, well, bro, like I, I can understand sometimes. But sometimes I feel like that shit is over. It's just, you're doing it. You're overdoing it. You're not giving you a good review of anything. Maybe I can change this up. Maybe I can fucking change video game reviewing up. I'm motherfuckers. I feel like they don't even get me started on the motherfucker shoot review games like, for a living. I mean, like, some I don't know if you can play games, G. Like, shit, I'm not the best motherfucker at video games. I'm pretty decent. I mean, shit, I was able to beat Elden Ring, so I fucking I beat Sekiro. Shit. I beat Wukong. I beat all these hard ass fucking games. And I feel like I'm I'm okay at video games, but I feel like I have a decent opinion. So these motherfuckers are on some bullshit. And it's like, oh, you know, huh? I don't want to say no names, but sometimes I see motherfuckers reviews, and it's like, damn, bro, like, did you like the game or did you not like the game or what the fuck? You just showed me, just like, did a commercial for the game, nigga. Like, you didn't give me nothing, no positives, no negatives. Just told me a bunch of fucking nonsense, a bunch of shit that. You go. You got a review code, so that's what it means. Like, oh, I can't say nothing. Right, what it is, what it is. Let's get back to this gameplay. Though. I don't want to go on a tangent about, <laughs> about YouTube. <laughs> Let's see what the fuck's happening. I don't even know what the fuck where I'm at. But I'm the, right now. I'm the fucking Mystic Knight. I think that class was pretty decent, but like, I don't know. That's something like it's. I had way more fun. Like, I tried to use the abilities. You can see me here trying to use the abilities. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck this shit does, bro. Like, just give me the fucking bow and arrow. Give me the explosive arrows, and we're good. I think that's pretty, that's pretty what, probably what this one is. Probably to show uh, show off the cooking. So I'm telling you, that cooking looked delicious. I don't know what it was. I'm like, damn, that shit looked good as fuck. All right, so let's see. We're about eight minutes in. I got about 40 more minutes to go. Which is all right. Which is all right. <laughs> that shit looks fucking delicious. Not going to lie. That shit looks fucking delicious. That was the one thing I was like, man, I was expecting the food to look realistic <laughs> when I cooked it. And like, that shit will make me go to the camp just to cook the shit. Let's see where, what this one is. I think this one's probably me fighting a griffin or some shit. Excuse the gameplay. Like, I try to trim it up, but then I feel like I trim up too much, and it's just like, I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> like, I just want people, I want to see, I also feel like that's like the main reason for my channel. just want to show people video games. Here's a game. Maybe you didn't play it. Maybe you're like me. You've seen a bunch of people review it, but that you didn't see them play the fucking game to see what it looked like. That's what I want to be. I want to be the motherfucker to show. I don't. I don't know how far I'll take this, but that's what I want to be. I'm showing you what the fuck the game looks like. This is what was me playing the game. Was I having fun? Was I not having fun? And I feel like if I, if I, if I, if I play a game and I'm not having fun, I will not make videos. Especially, <laughs> like, I'll definitely not put not put any gameplay. And just fucking play it, get get the trophies, whatever fuck, get the fuck out of there. But yeah, the combat in this game is it's pretty fun, but it's just like, oh man, it's real easy to get overwhelmed and get, just get killed through certain classes. And if you're killed, most times you're gonna die. You don't wanna, at least me, like I'm old school, I don't wanna use all my fucking items. Like I gotta revive, but I might need it later. And then honestly, you, you do need that shit later because the game gets like, 10 times harder. You gotta beat the game once, and then you gotta beat going to the. I don't want to spoil too much, but you go into another world, and it's like, this is hard. <laughs> I go on Star Road 2, and this shit is hard as fuck. It was all right. It was all right. I feel like that's the shit that fucks me up, too. It's like, don't you get the fucking griffin or a dragon? That motherfucker just flying around. Like, how am I getting him to come down? Other than shooting him in the fucking face with an arrow. 
I'm down. Cause we about to be on that ass. Pause. So I was fucking cold out right there. Well, maybe that's what it is. It kind of gives me like Lord of the Rings vibes. It's like they make Lord of the Rings games, but like they haven't been a good Lord of the Rings game since fucking, in my opinion, since um, Shadow of Mordor or Shadow of War or whatever the fuck those games were. Yeah, I'm gonna fight some crazy monsters, orcs, and fucking blue geeks. Green goblin ass motherfuckers. We're gonna fight up on everybody. Fire effects are cool. Fuck with the little fire effects. Setting them on fire and all that shit. But it was fun. Like I said, like I had a lot of fun with the game, but like I level up your vocations is a pain in the fucking ass. And it's just trying to get trying to get a, a one vocation all the way leveled up, and then it's like, well, damn, should I should I change? Should I be overpowered, or should I change and try to change my playstyle? Uh, and then it's like, well, I need to. I want to. I want to have fun, so I want to do the cool shit. So you end up end up fucking changing, being being under leveled, and it's just like it's one of those things where it's like a lot of games I play them once and I don't play that motherfucker ever again. I don't give a fuck if I bought it or not. I mean, I'm not playing this shit again. I went ran through it, got the trophy for beating the fucking game, check my motherfucking PSN. <laughs> if I get the trophy at least for beating the game. Get the fuck out of there because some of this shit is like, dude, I'm not playing this shit 30 for the next. 50 60 hours man i think i just i just finished wukong and i want to say i put in like a hundred a hundred and one hours that food looks delicious <laughs> delicious delicious but i put in a hundred and one fucking hours in wukong and like i had fun i had to give a fun game and shit but it's just like dude i don't want to play these fucking games forever and ever i don't have that much fucking time shit i'll be dead by the time this fucking game come out i'll be dead by the time, like shit, by the time I get to a fucking game, like, oh, I got to the remake of Final Fantasy IX finally before I die. Like, come on, dog. Some of these games, I feel like the short and sweet, you can, you can benefit from short and sweet. I'd much rather have a game that is fucking 12 hours, 20 hours, 40 hours, but a tight 40, rather than a fucking bloated 100, a fucking bloated 80. Like, they like the work. The, look at this shit. I killed this motherfucker. Here comes the Griffin. Because I'm like, this, there, there's certain shit in this game where it's like, that was, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool that I killed the rock monster and then a fucking Griffin came down that next. I'm like, I'm whooping your, whoop both your asses. I'm whooping both your asses. <laughs> you better fucking get out the way. We're whooping both your asses. But I'm, I digress, like I said. I'm just testing this shit out. I, just, I got. Still, we're 13 minutes in. I got another 30 minutes of this, so you know it might be it might be like a little podcast we do. This shit. We might just, I might just turn this shit to the, the Long Wolf Podcast. Fuck it, we out here. Fuck a review. We just do a podcast talking shit. But I don't know. I'm just sitting there fucking around. I don't know. Just fucking around, waiting, waiting. I got so many fucking games on my backlog. I'm like, oh my god so much shit I want to play that I need to play and like, so much shit that I wanted to play I played and was like Ugh, what is this shit <laughs> what is this shit but I don't know I think now I'm thinking about it I don't know if I should do a review I might, I might just turn this shit to a little 30 minute podcast this will be the, the, the long wolf podcast so we out here uh, I think I can, I can I can run through another 30 minutes of this I can smoke another cigarette another cigarette a marijuana cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, we out here. Yes, I wanted to talk. I wanted to talk about this game, but only I can't. I don't know if I can get forty minutes about talking about this fucking game. Like I feel like it's really the, the gameplay is really cut and dry. Like you do. Like if you if this if if you like what you see, then you're gonna be doing this shit for about sixty fucking hours. <laughs> and if you like it, if you don't mind it, hey man, it's pretty fun. It's like it's, it sucks. There's no fast travel and there's no mount, so you can't you don't have a horse or nothing. And I feel like that's one of the things that fucks me up the most about like, like I fuck I fuck heavy fuck with Fallout heavy, fuck with Fallout Three, New Vegas, all that shit. 
I can't, I still cannot get behind not having a fucking car or something. Having some kind of mode of transportation. It's like, no, 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 we're going to walk everywhere. You're the savior of humanity. You're just fucking walking around. I was like, I don't know, man. Like, uh, it kind of takes me out of the immersion of having to walk everywhere. So I'm like, at least with, with those games, you get, you got fast travel and shit, so that helps. No fast travel in this game. Like, you do have some a form of fast travel, but it's like a currency. You're not currency, but it's like consumable. So it's like you can you you run out you can run out of them motherfuckers. So it's like you gotta save them. And then honestly, pro tip: are you trying to really play the game, you're trying to beat the game, save them shits for the 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 second part of the game. Save them shits for when the world changes, because that's when you really need that shit. You really need that's when it really comes in handy to be able to travel around the fucking world. Right now, it's not too bad. When you get to the the, the second part of the game, the 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 um, like the true ending or whatever, whatever, no. These motherfuckers, like, is the whole world is ending, and I want to say you're on a fucking time limit. It's on some, not Majora's Mask. Is it Majora's Mask? Yeah, it's on like, some Zelda Majora's Mask shit. But, like, you're on a time limit, and you will fucking run out of time, and you will have to fucking start that shit over. And, like I said, like, I, I like this game, and I fucked with it. I didn't know that there was a, a new game plus when I really, when I got there until I until, until I got there. And I was like, that's kind of cool, but it's like, bro, towards the end, shit's wearing fucking thin, man. Like, I'm tired of playing this shit, bro. Like, that's what I'm saying. A tight, a tight 20, a tight 40 is what, much better to, be, to play a game, play through the 40, and maybe not do all the collectibles and shit, but get, do the majority of the game. And like, it was fun. Now, if I want to play some more, I can play some more, but nah, I'm good. Yeah, I want. I had to replace that. I had to replace that 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 nigga right there. I don't know how I got, how I got him on my team, but he was like twenty levels above me, and we were just tank. Like that's what I like, honestly getting this guy is what made the game fun for me. It was like oh I've got to have one guy who's super overpowered, and now I can melt, melt people and not be so fucking worried about dying and shit. But hmm. overall fun game. Overall fun game. See where we can cut this bitch out. I don't know. I think I think we're at seventeen. I think I can run another another few. I think I run another few. Talk some shit. Free my nigga Luigi. Free my free my nigga Luigi. Free my nigga Luigi. Free that nigga. Free that nigga. Fuck them CEOs, nigga. That motherfuckers on. Denied health care to everybody. Now we're going to get political. Yeah, we're turning this to the Lone Wolf Political Podcast. <laughs> we're turning this into Chapo Pot Trapo Pothouse or whatever fuck. We out here. Yeah, but we're going to deny fucking health care to all these motherfuckers. Denied fucking life saving procedures to motherfuckers. Yeah, you, shit, it's a dirty game, nigga. You might, you might get popped. Shit, it is what the fuck it is. Sometimes niggas got. Sometimes you gotta pop out the show, niggas. That's all we gotta say. Flip that. Motherfuckers think we playing. Flip that. All right, I sent my political rant. We'll get back on the game. <laughs> yeah, see where we at right now. So we in the cave. Oh, what the fuck's gonna happen here? I don't know what happens at this clip. I should have probably fucking named these clips so I don't know what the fuck was coming up. But now you know we out. We out here winging it. We out here winging it. Let's see. It's probably gonna be a big monster. I feel like that was all the all the gameplay I really that was I that I found interesting was like, oh, it's a big monster. Let me fight this big monster. Like everything else is like I feel like that's the whole like I don't wanna fight little people. I feel like they could have they could have probably leaned into that. Give me some fucking Shadow of the Colossus kind of type shit. Where it's like you're not really fighting every now and then you fight some little dudes, but you're really you're a monster hunter. Y'all out there cleaning up the world and shit. I'm trying to figure out. Like, the map's fucking huge, too. And it's like, bro, like, that's the fuck shit. It's like, the map is so goddamn big, and there's a day-night cycle, and the night cycle, the enemies are fucking ten times harder, and you don't have a fucking horse. <laughs> so, you know. <coughs> you out here. That's why I say some of these games, like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Some of these fucking games that come out, I'm like, I wanted Dragon's Dogma 2, but I really wanted Dragon's Dogma 2, like, five years ago. Like, a little bit after they re released Dark Arisen, they came with Dragon's Dogma 2, and I was like, cool. And it's like, it's not really more than Dragon's Dogma 1. Dragon, it's just Dragon's Dogma 1, but they had a couple more classes. And I want to say, 
I want to say. It's been a while since I've played Dragon's Dogma 1. I want to say there's some like story beats that are repeated. <laughs> like, it's, like, it's, like, dra it's like Dragon's Dogma 1.5 or some shit. It's like Dark Arisen 2. Like, just check it, just add it on. Because he's the same he's the same fucking models. They just look good. Like, they just look a lot better. It's the same ogre that I fought in 2012 or the fuck when I played Dragon's Dogma 1. Doing the same shit I did back then. I climbed on his fucking back and stabbed him in his fucking brain. Like... So maybe if they made it more high risk, but yeah, look, look at that bullshit. Look at that bullshit. And the good thing is I fell into the water. So it just transferred me back to fight him. If I fell on land, I would have probably fucking died. Had a user fucking revive. It's like somebody was getting, and like he's, he's definitely, it's not like he did it on purpose, but like he positioned right there by the edge. It's like, damn, dog. Like no one has like a, a fucking drop kick to just kick him over. And nah, nah, I gotta come up and stab his motherfucker in his brain. Stab him in his fucking brain stem. Guess this, sometimes you gotta pop out the show, niggas, so. That's what it is. Well, like I said, overall, it's pretty, this is pretty decent game. This is probably one of the more fun parts of the game. And I feel like this was the shit that I was like, I played the whole game waiting to see what this big motherfucker was gonna do. And the, the fucking shit is that you, if you save the, the Medusa's head, you can turn to stone, but the thing is, the Medusa's head, like, it's a consumable, and it, it's, like, perishable, so it'll end up getting rotten or some bullshit. Some fucking bullshit. But I definitely have one on me, but I definitely just had fought the Medusa. But this shit is, like, forever. Like, it took me forever. I want to say this clip of this shit is, like, 15 minutes. And I was like, I still didn't beat him. Like, I still was just chopping his little fucking arms and shit off. But it is what it is. Oh, the gameplay just ride, you know. I feel like I've given my my overall review of the game by now. It's a pretty decent game, but it has its flaws, like most games. I feel like the, the biggest thing about games nowadays is like good or bad. I feel like if I paid sixty dollars, I paid seventy fucking dollars. There's a certain level I'm expecting the game to be. I was like, the game needs to be doing something, bro, for 70 fucking dollars. I played too many games where I was like, what the fuck did I pay for? That was probably, honestly, I haven't bought a, I hadn't bought a new game. I bought, I bought Resident Evil 4 new, and I bought Wukong a little while ago. I bought that new. But I can't think of any new Games I pay full price for. It. It's like, nah, bro. It's got to be thirty or under, bro. Like, I'm not fucking paying. I was damn near about to buy fucking. Uh, what was that in that game? That Star Wars game. I was like, yeah, it looks alright. I seen. I think I seen it for like forty. I was like, it looks alright for forty. Maybe, but still, it's still a little too much. <laughs> Take that shit down about twenty four, and I might be able to fuck with it. I feel like that's the shit that don't be talked about. Like, some of these games are decent for. Fucking twenty bucks. Pay twenty bucks for it. I'm not expecting too much. Expecting the game to work, and not fucking break. That's about it. I paid seventy fucking bucks, and now the game is crashing and breaking. And that that fucking Wukong game. That game is is a badass game, but that game is being held together by like fucking tissue paper, bro. Every time you beat an enemy, like I feel like the game, like my game was going to freeze. And it's like, I had a couple of crashes while I played the game, like nothing too major. This is the old crash that just froze while I was playing. It didn't freeze my whole system. It just, the game froze or it did its error shit and it booted me out or whatever. But like, dude, that game, every fucking person I fought after I, after I killed them, I get my experience, the game chugs for like half a second. It's like, bro, it's like, what the freeze? On the, on the basic enemy? Like, ugh, ugh. All right. But, and even that, like, I bought Wukong a couple of weeks ago, probably no, the end of November. That shit came out, when it came out, it's like, I'm, I'm benefiting off of patches and shit. And even, even now, if I just beat the game, I want to say there's a patch coming out in, like, two days, a couple days, there's a patch coming out. It's like, damn, I'm like, that's a whole other reason why it's like, well, no, don't. PSA, do not buy new games. Save yourself the money, save yourself the headache. Unless it's something that you fucking cannot do without, 
Save yourself the time, bro. Let them patch it up a little bit. There's no game that comes out that doesn't need patch. I'm looking at Stalker. Look at Stalker 2? I played me some Stalker 2. And everybody's like, oh, it's so glitchy. And it's just like, ugh. Oh, then I see. I didn't even watch the fucking video game. Bro. It wasn't the video game um, awards. I fucking um, the fuck did I do? I fucking seen the games that they were fuck. Oh, oh, this is the new game. And it's like okay, Witcher Four. That's cool. I'm I'm not too excited for the Witcher Four because I like, I don't like the Witcher Three. I think it's a it, it, it's a weird game. Where it's like it has cool story moments. It has fuck. Uh, adult dialogue if the dialogue is, is written by somebody or for the most part I'm not gonna say the whole guy can't it's been a loss of play but it, the, the dialogue feels pretty good and shit the stories are pretty good like the side quest little stories and shit they're all really good and it's like oh man like the fucking daughter do grim shit that shit was cool as fuck it's like, oh, this guy's a devil <laughs> what's going on like okay well, fuck, we're doing something but that's fucking gameplay bro like this sword play fucking stuff these fucking spells fucking suck and it's like if you gave me the witcher but put like god of war gameplay here's my 60 dollars <laughs> here's my 70 dollars let's fucking go if not it's like what the fuck am i doing bro like, I, that's the one it's like I, they ain't show no fucking gameplay they showed a, a, a trailer a teaser it is what it is and the other shit I've seen, oh, we're gonna get oh, The Last of Us 2 remastered. And it's like, why the fuck do I want The Last of Us 2? Like, who the fuck asked for that shit? I don't understand what the purpose is. Like, I understand why we remaster games, but, like, not like that, bro. Who gives a fuck? Like, it is, the thing is, the same thing I've been talking about. It's the fucking price. Like, okay, you remaster the game, it's only gonna be 20 bucks, right? It's only gonna be 30 bucks, right? No, it'll be 59, but you know, you'll be able to change Ellie's boob size. You'll be able to change Ellie from from Ellie to Elliot. Oh, like, get this shit out of here, bro. I'm fucking done with that shit, bro. Like, I've been done with a full remaster. Like, I've seen the fucking. The only remaster I've seen was the, was the Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. That one I'm kind of interested in because they actually remastered the game. They made the game look better and shit. Alright, this game looked like shit. It's an alright game. It's an alright little Zelda clone. Like a, a gothic Zelda clone or some shit. But it's Zelda nonetheless. I'll fuck with it remastered and it looks, looks good and shit. But then I seen they, they, they re-released or they released Legacy of Kane 1 and Legacy of Kane 2. And it's like Legacy of Kane 1 is the one you probably want to remaster. You wouldn't. I would. I would expect you to because it's such a such a niche game, such a cult game. It's like it's actually pretty decent, and it's the same thing. It's fucking adult Zelda. Like, okay, you gotta go pick up the abilities, get the powers, and all sort of bullshit. Same fucking bullshit, bro. Like, I don't. Know. I'm, just, I'm just surprised they remaster weird games, and then they remaster Dead Rising, and it's just like I don't know. Bro. I don't think Dead Rising needed a remaster. Like, you could just made a new Dead Rising game. But that's my opinion about the shit. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We're getting ready to wrap up here in a couple of minutes. You know, I'm just out here rambling and jambling, seeing what the seeing what the seeing what we're doing for episode one of the Lone Wolf Podcast. You know. <laughs> Maybe I'll get some suggestions to give me shit to talk about. Not be out here talking. I be talking. I shut up. We leave. I be talking again. <laughs> I'm still fighting this big ass monster. Bro. What else to talk about? Honestly, I'm trying to be that nigga. Oh, Kendrick Lamar. I got a little kind of thing about me that shit. <coughs> 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 Yeah, we out there. Don't mind the audio. Um, like I said earlier, the audio levels, audio quality, <laughs> whatever you want to say. Because I'm just doing, I'm just doing it through the PlayStation remote. I just want to see what does it sound like when I do it through the PlayStation. Oh, 
definitely next time I'm not using the PlayStation remote. <laughs> Whatever my next video is doing this shit, I'm not using the PlayStation remote. And it'll probably, hopefully it'll be, like I said, this is, since this video is so long, I was like, well, I can just do like a podcast. I don't have to do a review. I'll just I'll talk about the game. I'll just talk about some other shit. But, I don't know. I don't know what I was talking about. I, seen, I didn't even see the video game. Really, so I didn't even see all I seen. Because I, I really don't care who wins, honestly. That shit doesn't matter to me. Elden Ring wins again for Game of the Year. I don't give a shit. I never really could care less. <laughs> it's, it's a good game. If, if, if the D, if, look, if there's no other games that can beat the DLC as Game of the Year, I guess the DLC can be Game of the Year. I don't know. Like I, At this point, I don't know. Hey, man, it's your reward show. I don't have no fucking uh, uh, dog in this fight. I really don't care. This group we're getting video game. I I... I, I I feel like it's a double-edged sword, but I, I, I'd much rather there be some kind of coverage of video games. Like I miss they're, they're not being uh, E3 and shit. Like All you get is the old PlayStation Direct and the Nintendo Direct, and you don't really get any too much third-party shit or anything like that. Just, here's the Nintendo games, here's the PlayStation game. So, yeah. I don't know. This motherfucker took forever to fucking beat, though. And it's a pain in the ass, because every time you have to climb up him, it's just like... Uh, who designed this shit, bro? Like, I understand climbing... And then, like, I guess it's because it's a cinematic thing, because, oh, they're, they're going to shoot arrows at him, and it's more shit where it's like, well, if you, if you beat him in time, you can beat him before he hits the gate, or whatever, whatever. Bullshit. Like he should have had like two or three of them motherfuckers cut his neck off or something. Keep him moving, bro. Like how this like if you were fucking if I was specced in two um fuck are they called a uh, mage or something? I dig I'm what how the fuck I would fucking hit him. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. Like I don't know how like I tell my mage not doing shit. The other guy trying to climb is like nigga, you're just wasting your time. You don't have the climbing abilities and shit. But, I don't know. Overall, like I said, overall, this game's pretty decent, but same as most games, like, it depends on the price. It depends on how much you can get this bitch for. What they, what they charge him at the, for the fucking game. Oh, man. So, we'll see. We still got man, about 10 more minutes. Let me see if I can think of something to talk about for the next couple minutes. I don't even know. I don't even know. It's a motherfucking Friday. That's all I care about. <laughs> but yeah, you know, we out here. Christmas coming up, almost. About a week or so before Christmas. Doesn't talk about Marvel Rivals. I, I can do Marvel Rivals. That, that shit is delicious. Like, I, it trips me out that, like, I talk shit. Like, I'll admit, I'll be the first one in there. When I see Marvel Rivals coming out, I was like, right, it looks good. But I gotta, I gotta get my hands on it. And even when the motherfuckers were like, oh, it's coming out tomorrow, I was like, nah, this shit ain't even gonna fucking work, bro. Like, what multiplayer game ever works on launch? That motherfucker working on launch? Like, nigga, that's crazy. That's crazy. It's for the free game to have their shit together at launch. But Helldivers 2 don't have their shit together at launch multiple paid games, paid multiplayer games, don't have their shit together at launch. That's fucking insane. That's fucking insane. But, hopefully, hopefully the Marvel Rivals kind of shows that, like, if you put a little bit of effort into it, you, of course, if you just want to copy a fucking game, that's not a bad idea. I'd much rather play someone... Mega, their Mega Man copy, their fucking Ninja Gaiden copy, their fucking Gears of War copy. I'd much rather play that than your fucking experimental, well, maybe it'll work, oh, we're doing something. <laughs> I'd much, much rather. But, like I said, it is what it is. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking
Um, maybe I'll start some YouTube beef. But yeah, fuck you, fuck you, uh, Penguin Zero, fuck you, Critical. <laughs> <coughs> fuck you, Critical. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. <laughs> Get some traction on my video. <laughs> nah, I was fucking around. <coughs> I thought I could fucking. I don't have too much invested in YouTube. I just put my clips up and shit. I have a little footprint that way. When I'm gone, you can always go back and hear me talk about some bullshit. <laughs> you can always hear me bullshit. I'll be here forever. I'll be here digitally. But we'll we out of here. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna talk about. This this clip was so long it kinda of burned me out and I'm like, oh my gosh. But I had to put the whole clip in. I was like, oh fuck it. I was gonna do a little short review and I was like, well fuck it. I, I feel like that was the longest clip, it was like fifteen minutes. Everything else is pretty pretty decent, pretty decent. But I had to show it. I had to put the make sure motherfuckers see. Like, nigga, you can skip through it if you want to. It's not a big deal. But this shit right here, I, I had to put this shit. Like, this shit was completely by accident. I didn't even know I could do that. So my work came out for the fucking one, the, the onesies. Like, let's run the ones. My good friend, I've come to run the ones. Who run the ones? Excuse me, see, watch, watch off suit. I, I tried to pull a shield out. I thought I could pull this. I was like, there's so many cool abilities. And it's like, nigga, is this shit gonna do anything other than what it says? Because I tried to pull this fucking shield, and I thought that would have been, oh, I could pull a shield. Fuck no, I just put a little bomb. Badoosh, nigga. And I did not know he was gonna fall like that. <laughs> I did not know he was gonna fly off like that. Like, hey, fuck him. See what this one is. Let's see what this one is. So this is the this is I'm pretty sure this is the second one. But I don't know what the fuck clip it is on it. I don't know, you're just doing stuff. <coughs> but yeah, we out here. I feel like I talked about everything I could think about to talk about. Anything else I'm like, mm, I might get I might get banned off. <laughs> I might get banned off YouTube if I say something about the president. <laughs> so I'll be out here. I don't gotta say shit. But yeah, Marvel Rivals is legit. Of course, it is not balanced. It's like there's some. There needs to be balances, and that's, I feel like that's how most games are. Like they need, if they, there needs to be balance. Though you can't really balance some of this shit. Like, Hawkeye's one shot, motherfuckers. The Punisher is is broken. But it, it even like the way their health pools are, it's like I don't know, bro. Like why does the Punisher only have two hundred, but Venom starts with like eight hundred. Wolverine gets a fucking. He's got I think three hundred, maybe five hundred. No, I think three hundred. Saw 350 or something like that, but then, like, when he gets down to zero, it goes back up to 200. Like, there you go. What are we? All right, all right, all right. But I feel like my my biggest shit about that is that, like, the game came out, it's pretty good. It's like, all right, the potential is here. Let's get some fucking characters. Let's start putting them in. Let's put in first. We need Juggernaut, we need most of the X Men in there. <laughs> Stop fucking around with the fucking X Men in there. We need fucking Wolverine. Oh, we got Wolverine, excuse me. We need Nightcrawler, Cyclops, uh, fucking Professor X in the wheelchair. Let's get some diversity in this bitch. Show some for, for fucking like, the handy cable. All that shit. Any other fucking Marvel character. Start doing, throwing another Iron Man kind of character. Throwing the Vision, someone who can kind of fly and all that bullshit. Throwing War Machine. You start just putting characters in. Cause that, the, the whole Marvel shit is like, I feel like that shit is kind of done. I feel like most comic book shit is kind of done. You got the boys still kicking it. Invincible Season 3 came out, but I feel like I fell off after Invincible Season 1. 
I mean, like the, 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 that time frame between Invincible 1 and 2 was too long. And I did not give a shit. I don't know. I seen the clips online. I was like, oh, kind of cool. Is Battle Beast here? No. Get fuck out of here, bro. Yeah, is that dude on the, on, the, on the motorcycle there with the gun that can shoot one shot motherfuckers? Nah, fuck out of here, bro. Fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> I feel like my main shit is, though. Nowadays, we, we're, all, we're, we're all about to wrap up. This is more of the, the end game shit. We'll just bullying down here. We'll just wrap it up here. We have about five minutes left. My main shit with the comic book shit is. There's comic book fatigue for Marvel. There's some. I don't think there's as much fatigue for Marvel as there is for DC. There's general comic book fatigue, I feel. But at a certain point, they're going to start pulling from like 90s comics. You're getting Scud the Disposable Hitman. You're getting fucking The Authority. You're getting all Wildcats and Spawn. And all those fucking characters that they did that did not that kinda kinda got some traction, or maybe probably didn't, or more like niche and shit. Like I've seen another there's another comic book, there's like I wish I had the, the YouTube nigga's name, I'd shout him out, but I've seen a few YouTubers talk about it. But it's uh it's kinda like the boys, but like for sidekicks. And I, I think it's called Brats, Brat Pack or something like that. But like that look that'd be I think that looks kinda interesting. Oh, that'd be kinda cool if you put that on film or maybe made a TV show or something. Something. But like, I don't know, man. Like, I feel like I, it's just there's too much. There's too much material. There's too much comic book fodder. There's too much fucking options. It's like I don't know, man. You get somebody with enough fucking money, enough goddamn influence. Next thing you know, well, we could do. We could remake the mask. But we'll do it like the comic book. You know? uh, <laughs> yeah, pick your fucking battle, dog. My my vote is the authority. Like, if you give me the uh, authority comic book, or not comic book, an authority TV show or authority movie, I'd fuck with that. I fuck with Batman and Superman. They have the Batman and Superman allegory, but they're just gay. <laughs> like, they're just gay. That's all. That's, that's funny. Cause you got exactly Batman. You got exactly Superman. They're called the Midnighter and the fucking. I don't even know what the other guy's called. The Midnighter and the other guys all, all white or whatever. But you got those those same allegories, but they're gay. They're, they're in a relationship. Okay. All right, we're doing something. Especially now, since everything is, is quote unquote woke and shit. And it's like, well, why don't you make that into a comic or make that into a movie? We were doing that shit in the '90s, bro. So what are we doing? But we're, we're, getting, we're getting towards the end of the long wheel podcast, baby. We're gonna wrap it up here. We got about about four minutes left. We got one or two more clips, so we just wrap it up. We start wrapping it up here. But you know, if you like what you hear, you like what you see. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Let <laughs> me get this YouTube channel popping. Like I said, this motherfucking YouTube money. Shout out to my motherfucking nigga Daddy at the stop. <laughs> Gave me the idea. <laughs> So like there's no I mean, my shit is like I'm not trying to be Mr. Beast. I'm not trying to be none of these niggas. But a little change in my motherfucking pocket for playing video games and talking a little bit of shit. I ain't gonna hurt me. I ain't gonna hurt me. I see motherfuckers uh make their whole YouTube channel off of whatever the fuck they're they're consuming. It's like well nigga, I consume video games. <laughs> like I don't really consume podcasts, I don't really consume T V some movies, but like I consume video games the most. And it's like, well, shit, if I can make money off the shit that I consume, might as well. Shit, try to give me a couple review codes and shit. I'm trying to be on that shit. Let me know, shit. If you can put in the comments, you can fucking, hey, this is how you get on to some review codes. Cool, because I'm trying not to play for games either. <laughs> I'm trying to get a free game, <laughs> play it, talk some shit about it. If I do get I'm definitely gonna talk my shit. I don't care. Fuck. If the game is boo boo. Your game is boo boo, bro. Don't fucking come out here with that bullshit. Play too many boo boo ass games. Looking at you, fucking Sandland. There's so many fucking games. I'm like, check my motherfucking. You get a chance. You just, you the PSN is the same as the motherfucking YouTube. I'm both God. Send me a friend request. I'm always open. I'm doing on no fucking weird shit. You know, play some games or whatever, shoot the shit, I'm always down. 
But check my motherfucking uh, PSN. Check my trophies. I think I've got I've beat so many fucking games and so like, if I didn't put if I didn't make clips of it, I I'm starting to realize if I don't clip stuff, it's more than likely because the game was not fun. The game was not fun. It was a fucking chore. It was a pain in my ass. And I fucking hated it. <laughs> so I didn't clip anything. But the games I do have fun with, or I think I see some cool shit, I'll clip something. I'll try to clip something. Try to clip it up. Well, let's see. Let's see. We got about hmm, 45 seconds left. So we're about to wrap it up here. Once again, like, share, subscribe, comment, engagement in the comments. I'll definitely reply to any comments on this bitch, <laughs> any kind of criticism, any kind of uh, um, suggestions. But you know, I'm out here, bro. I'm just out here playing video games. I'm just trying to fucking get something done with the, the gameplay. Try to try to double dip in this bitch, you know what I mean? Since since Trump's not going to raise or lower grocery prices, I guess I got to fucking get a second job, get a second income. So hopefully we'll, this will be something I can do. We're more than like, this is more of a hobby, something I do for fun. But you know, this lone wolf, I'm out.